everyone i welcome you all to my channel in this video we are going to learn about the concept of time we are going to learn about solar time local time local standard time daylight saving time different time zones of the world why international date line is not a straight line what is elapsed flying time how to calculate that what is jet lag so a lot to know in this video so let's begin first of all earth it rotates around on its axis so it takes 24 hours to rotate it spins once in 24 hours on its axis so if we divide 360 because it is moving completely 360 degrees by 24 that is 24 hours in a day we get 15 okay so 15 degrees it move in one hour so that is the result if we further divide 15 degrees with 60 minutes because in one hour we have 60 minutes then we get four minutes so in four four minutes earth moves one degree okay so that is the difference at every longitude there is a difference of four minutes okay and on every 15 longitudes we will find a difference of one hour so at a particular meridian at a particular longitude line we will have different time okay so that is the local time of a place if you don't know about the longitude and latitude line we have already covered this topic i will give you the link on the i button coming back to this video we have different longitude lines and on the every longitude line we have different time a difference of four minutes is there between two longitude lines one degree and two degree there is a difference of four minutes okay so we have four minutes difference in two degrees and we have one hour difference in every 15 degrees okay so that is the local time of a place then we have local standard time because we cannot take time with respect to degrees if we talk about india and its latitude longitudes is it's it's longitude okay then we have longitude between 68 degrees 7 minutes east to 97 degree 25 minutes east okay so that is the difference of uh, around 29 29 longitude lines and we cannot really afford 29 different time to consider at different places of india that's why we have the concept of time zone it is a particular region where there's time that is same it is decided by every country so a, a particular region will observe the same time sun rising at the same time the clocks at that place will have same time but the locations of that country will observe sunrise sunset at different period of time but the clocks will show the same time so that is the concept of time zone a region will observe same time in their clocks that is time zone and it is decided with the help of gmt what is gmt it is greenwich mean time mean time of a place in greenwich that is in united kingdom so mean time is calculated of greenwich that is that falls on the zero degree of longitude it is also known as universal time coordinate because it is the reference point for all the time around the world so it is gmt or utc we say that that places east of gmt are ahead in time and west is behind so we take gmt as the reference point gmt as the standard so we can we have time zones plus or minus of gmt plus or minus of utc here you can see so here we have zero degrees at gmt and on the west side you can see there's minus one minus two minus three minus four and on the east we have plus one plus two plus three plus four so that is the main reference point or the international standard that was chosen in 1884 84 it was decided that greenwich meridian will be recommended as the prime meridian of the world it is the reference point it is the international standard time all the time zones are are on the basis of this here we have different time zones of the world we have india here we have universal time coordinates utc okay utc and countries on east we have utc plus one of many countries plus two plus three plus four india is plus 5.30 okay so five hours 30 minutes ahead of utc is india and we have countries on west that are minus that are behind utc so that is the concept of time zone and local time local time is the time of a place okay so we have sunrise and sunset at different times and different places 
or oh, and standard time is the time that is decided by a nation okay so that is standard time the country the clocks of a country will observe same time so that is the local standard time okay then here we have time zones we have in russia 11 different time zones russia is a big country you can see area is large so we have 11 different time zones in russia russia talking about us we have six time zones in us in india we have only one time zone that is plus 530 hours and it is based on the longitude lines of line of 82.5 degree okay east of longitude so that is the reference point the standard time chosen for our country it was adopted in the year 1947 so it is all up to different countries which time they want to have as a standard time for the country so we have india utc plus 530 and this line passes through mirzapur in uttar pradesh and we have a central observatory in shankargarh fort alawa district of up we have many observatories in india we have very ancient uh, observatories and very new observatories also we also have a second highest observat observatory in india in ladakh okay we have one observatory in udaipur also so we have many observatory we have eris observatory in nanital also aryabhatta research institute of observational sciences so we have many observatories in india these are the scientific the astronomical observatories we where you will find astronomical instruments instruments to to observe the astronomical positions of the astronomical objects okay so that is the there's one shankargar in shankargar fort of alabad district you will find the central observatory and this is 82.5 degree of east longitude that is taken as the reference point for indian standard time that passes through mirzapur in uttar pradesh and indian standard time is utc plus 5:30 hours so standard time is the time that is chosen that is that is decided for a nation to follow and local time is the local time that we can we can observe the time on the basis of the position of sun okay on which on what time sun is rising sunset point time so there's time that is changing with every longitude line but local standard time is the time that is selected as per the time zone time zone is the region where the time will be same okay so there will be same standard time same time zone that is running in a place france has the most time zones in the world france has 12 time zones in russia we have only 11 time zones france has 12 time zones we have we have various uh, territories of france in different parts of world and these are 12 time zones that france follow okay so here we have different time zones so there's a very few little difference between some some time zones for example pakistan is utc plus 5 india is utc plus 5.5 that is 5:30 and nepal is just utc plus 5:45 minutes okay so there's a difference of 15 minutes only we have many countries with same name like ist indian standard time ist iran standard time okay so there's time zones countries with same time zones also like here we have saudi arabia it is having plus three and in russia we also have plus three so there are different 24 different time zones utc plus one plus two plus three plus four many countries have more than one time zones okay many countries have same time zones so that is the concept of time zones different countries as per their convenience has chosen different time zones so here we have international date line international date line is 180 degree of longitude okay here you can see here we have international date line this one so it's a zigzag line it's not a straight line like prime meridian it's a straight line international date line is a zigzag line it is to not cut countries into half countries located on this line would be cut into half so that that's why it is a zigzag line so either they have chosen to be in this side of date line and some has chosen to be at the this side of the international date line as per their convenience as per their relations with the international trade okay so they, it's all up to the countries on which time zone they want to be so that's why this line is not a straight line to avoid countries to cut into half so that one country doesn't have more than one time zones okay so that's why this line is a zigzag line not a straight line reason why international date line international date line is the line uh, 
passing which if we cross this line there's date changes okay so the countries on this side will have a different date and this side will have a different date okay so countries on east and west of international date line will observe different dates different day okay so 25th 26th so there's a difference of date if we cross international date line either we lose a day or we gain a day okay so if we are crossing international date line from west to east we lose a day and we if we are crossing east to west we gain a day okay so that is the different that is the concept of international date line we lose or gain a day while crossing international date line and it's not a straight line because if it was straight line it, it would be cutting the countries into half that we have to divide so countries on as per their convenience conveniences has chosen to be on east or west side of the international date line as per their trade relations with other countries or as per their choice it's all up to the countries what timeline they want to be in if, coming to daylight saving time what is daylight saving time so it is a time zone name okay so some countries in west opt for daylight saving time to save energy basically so in summers they move their clocks one hour ahead to save energy to save daylight so that is the concept of daylight saving time for example in california we have pacific daylight saving time okay pacific pacific daylight time okay so that is utc minus 7 so one hour ahead of the of their original standard time that is utc minus 8 pacific standard time okay so they are they, they move their clocks one hour ahead in march in summers basically to to save the daylight to save the energy so that is the concept of daylight saving time it is practiced in many countries in west in we have irish uh, daylight saving time we have british saving time so we have different daylight saving time different time zones so it's a different time zone that is the countries in west they move their clocks one hour ahead to save the time in the summers in summers to save the daylight to save the energy so that is the concept of daylight saving time practiced in some parts of the world here we have the details of hawaiian airlines it is leaving honolulu so departure time is giving ten, given 10 pm and it is arriving los angeles on 5 15 pm 5 15 am so these two are the local time local standard time of the respective places now how do we calculate how do we find out how much time it will take the flight to reach los angeles from honolulu so that's a difficult task so that is elapsed time total flying time taken by a flight okay so to calculate elapsed time in case of two different time zones because there's time zone different of honolulu and los angeles we follow a method that is basically what we do we convert the local time into gmt greenwich meridian time greenwich mean time utc okay so we convert that and then we calculate the flying time for example here we have one more of example that is of new york so there's a flight that is uh, that is arriving munich on 7 30 a.m okay and it departs new york on 6 p.m so first of all we have to convert this time into gmt so new york is gmt minus 5 their standard time zone and munich time zone of germany is gmt plus 1 so we have to change the local time into gmt to change local time we simply put simply change this minus into plus okay and take this number and add it to the local time in case of minus 5 when we are minus gmt minus 5 we will add 5 into the local time that is 6 pm and we have 11 then we get 11 pm then we write it into 24 hours format okay coming to munich we have 7 30 am when the flight is arriving okay so we will add we will we will subtract one from it okay because the time zone is plus one so to change local time into gmt we just change the 
sign of the time zone and add or subtract whatever the sign we get into the number into the local time number so we get 6.5 hours okay next day so it is reaching next day so we have one hour left in day one and we have 6.5 hours of day two so total time total elapsed time total elapsed flying time will be seven hours 30 minutes so that is the concept of elapsed flying time i hope you understand so that's the end of video Thank you for watching this. Have a great day.